Hello gamers and welcome back to another trip to the flea market. This weekend in particular it rained right up until the family and I got to the flea market. As you can see the parking lot's virtually empty, puddles still fresh on the ground, and the vendors that were there were just getting set up. Needless to say it was a much smaller flea market this weekend than usual due to the weather. Now this vendor had some pretty cool toys. Those Lord of the Rings figures were kind of neat, but they were asking about $5 each. Um, and some other interesting lunch boxes and Star Wars figures here. Uh, all really cool stuff. I'm a big Star Wars fan, but honestly, I just do not have the space to store something like that. Um, these glass sets I always check out because I'm on the lookout for the Mario Brothers glasses. No luck, but hey, look! Sun Faded Sports Games. Score! I just passed this Philly cheesesteak stand that's that pickup with the table off in the corner there. That was the only video game reseller this particular weekend at the flea market. I did have some games I was willing to trade off and picked up a couple NES games that I'd been after. So that wraps up this weekend. Let's take a look at what I got. Okay gamers, so as mentioned, the flea market, you saw it in the video, was virtually rained out. I was lucky that really anything was there at all. Um, so I was happy to get the few games I did. Like I mentioned, um, it was just the one video game veteran, it's that mobile game world, I talked about them in my last flea market video. Uh, they're there fairly often, once a month or so throughout the summer, and um, I was worried that they were going to rain out um, and not show up, but they were there, so I had a couple games I wanted to trade off, so I ended up paying, if you don't take into account the trades, I don't know how much I had invested into the trades, not much, obviously. Um, I paid $15 out of pocket for the three NES games that you're going to see here. Um, a couple of them I'd been after for a while, and uh, one was a game that I'd never seen before, and that one is The Last Starfighter. Now, The Last Starfighter, Fighter, for those of you who don't know, it's like a, um, it's an 80s space action movie. Um, it's really kind of cool, actually. This kid uh, plays an arcade game, gets the high score, and it turns out that this arcade cabinet is actually a uh, pilot recruit system for this intergalactic uh, starfighter fleet and because he's good at the game they come to earth and um, bring him into their ranks which is totally insane and just kind of silly but it, it's good movie fun and it's a movie that I always enjoyed as a kid so uh, the game sucks I don't like it but if if you've learned anything from this rant is uh, find this movie and watch it if you've not seen it yet it's uh, it's 80s goodness the next game up is a really fun one, one that I had not played on the NES before. Super happy to finally have it, and that is Batman Returns. And it's a really good, solid beat em up. Um, the sprites are really large on it, they're, they're pretty well done uh, in the fighting system. It's simple, there's not a lot of moves, but they're really responsive and accurate. Very fun game. I've only managed to get to the first boss so far, and then he kicked my ass. Um, but it's a game I'm definitely going to sink some more time into. I really like it. And then the final game I got here is one that I've been after for quite a while. A lot of people were talking about this game a few years ago. Um, I just never picked it up, and I should have because it was under that like $10 price range, and now it's kind of climbing towards the 30 ish or so uh, price. But it is definitely a very solid game, and that is Journey to Silius, which is kind of a side-scrolling um, action platformer, I guess. You have weapons, you get to shoot um, all sorts of robots and stuff. Um, again, I've sunk some time into this, but I've only made it to the first boss, the end of the first level, so I need to obviously spend some more time with it, but I'm really enjoying it so far, and I'm really happy to finally have this one in my collection. I've been after it, like I said, for quite some time, a couple of years, and um, I was foolish to hold off to pick it up until now. If you don't have this game, um, I'd recommend it. It seems really good so far. I think the praise it gets seems to be well deserved in the bit of time I've spent with it. Uh, but yeah, just a, kind of a meager haul, but I was happy to get anything, and it's always nice to get out to the flea market and see what's out there. So as always, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.